Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy week of Christmas. Today is actually Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve if you're watching today and Merry Christmas if you're watching tomorrow. Anyways, this is my third day of Vlogmas because in case you didn't see the other ones, I didn't get started on the first day and I didn't do every day or every other day. So I kind of just did whatever I wanted. This is my first year on YouTube, so first Vlogmas. Um, really my first month doing any videos, so I figured just get something up. Anyways, today's video is super exciting because I've been making so many yummy, delicious, cozy drinks all month long, even last month, and I've been posting on my Instagram, and a lot of you guys have been really excited for me to post this video. So if you're interested in finding out how I make any of those yummy, cozy drinks, just keep on watching. So our first drink is gingerbread coffee. First step is to make your coffee and I love french press so that's how I'm gonna make my coffee but you can really do it however you want and it should turn out the same. I just like to do it this way. So I'm gonna let that simmer or brew or whatever you want to call it and then to my cup I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of ground ginger, and once your coffee's ready, you're going to pour that over the spices and that will get them all nice and melted. Then you just want to take a spoon and stir it up. That way you can incorporate everything together. Next, I'm adding my steamed or foamed almond milk. I actually did a cold foam because I find that when I make coffee this way instead of espresso the coffee itself is so hot that if I add the steamed foamed almond milk it's way too hot and it burns my tongue but if I do the cold foam it kind of warms up quickly and it's just the perfect temperature so I added some cinnamon and here you see the gingerbread waffles I made they are so delicious if you want the recipe it's on my Instagram just look for the picture that looks like this and I added pomegranate on top and you guys, this breakfast was like top five. It was so freaking good. to make some sort of espresso or strong coffee. I actually used decaf today because I was having a little bit of anxiety and I didn't want more caffeine. So I started off by pouring about half that amount that you see into my cute little cup. And next I'm gonna go ahead and add this almond eggnog. It's vegan, I got it from Whole Foods. You can get it from Trader Joe's too, or you can use regular eggnog. I just don't drink or eat dairy. And because I didn't really like how it foamed up in my milk frother the first time I tried it, I just used regular almond milk for the actual foam topping. And after I finish adding that on, I'm just going to use a spoon and stir it all together just so that all those flavors mix together and get incorporated nicely. And to finish, you're just going to top it with a little bit of ground cinnamon and you are done. Our next drink is a chai gingerbread tea latte. Super easy. I'm just taking tea bags from both of those teas I just showed you and I'm going to brew them together. The flavors match so well. I thought that they went so yummy together. So all you have to do is add your boiling water 
and they brew pretty quickly but I like my tea strong since I'm really a coffee drinker so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave both those tea bags in and then I'm taking some foamed almond milk I'm doing cold foam again just because this tea is super hot and I'm kind of a baby when it comes to burning my mouth so I just prefer doing that and letting the milk warm up on its own and of course to top it off just a cute little gingerbread cookie Next up we have our gingerbread latte, so I'm going to start off the same way as a gingerbread coffee with some ground ginger and some cinnamon, add that right into your cup. And next I'm going to go ahead and add just a half a teaspoon of coconut sugar because I feel like the espresso needs a little bit more sweetness than the coffee and the same amount of molasses but I don't think molasses is really that sweet to be honest, so that's why I think the sugar adds a nice balance of sweetness to it and the gingerbread flavor comes from that molasses. And to add a little bit more sweetness without more sugar, just a quarter teaspoon of this vanilla extract. Then I'm adding the rest of that decaf espresso from my other latte. And I heated it up, obviously, so now I'm just using that little teaspoon to mix everything together and melt all the sweetener and the sugar and the molasses together. That way everything gets mixed in nice and the flavors all blend together well. Of course, I have to top it with some foamed almond milk, and this time I steamed it as well. I find that works best for espressos, and I also think, as you can see, that it foams up way better when it's hot. And I'm just adding a little bit more cold almond milk to top it off. Stir it up, that way everything gets mixed together and the cold almond milk can heat up. Lastly, just top with a little bit of ground ginger, and you are done. <music> Lastly, we have one of my favorites, Candy Cane Hot Cocoa. So to start, I'm adding some unsweetened cacao chips to my cup. You can use any chocolate chips you want, but I like really dark chocolate, so that's why I use that. And I'm adding some boiling water to get those melted because I'm lazy and I don't really want to make this on the stove top. So I'm trying to just make it all in this cup. And then on top of the melting chocolate chips, I'm going to go ahead and add some pure cacao powder. And not only do I like how dark the chocolate is of the cacao powder and the cacao chips, but it actually has some health benefits because when you get more pure raw cacao, it's better for you obviously than very sugary chocolate or milk chocolate. Then I'm adding a very small amount, just a quarter teaspoon of this peppermint extract. Super strong, but it has such a nice minty flavor to our candy cane hot cocoa. And just a little bit of honey because nothing I've added so far has any sort of sugar or sweetness. And although I don't like it super sweet, I feel like it needs just a little bit. And of course I'm stirring it up. And if you have one of those mini whisks, that would help a lot to get all that chocolate melted and everything stirred in nicely. And of course I'm gonna add some foamed almond milk on top. I obviously love my milk frother. I use it for every single drink but I find that for the hot cocoa, it just makes it so creamy and fluffy and luxurious. And as you'll see, when you go ahead and add the marshmallows, they just sit on there like a little pillowy cloud. And it's not only super cute, but it just looks so nice. And I don't know, I feel like it tastes better that way. Mm -hmm. 
For my hot cocoa, I use these vegan marshmallows with peppermint flavor from Whole Foods. Obviously, you can use whatever marshmallows you want. I just like the flavor of these and I feel like the ingredients are better than regular marshmallows. And I also got these candy canes from Whole Foods. And look how cute that is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys get a chance to try some of these yummy recipes either today or tomorrow on Christmas or sometime this weekend or really just any time during this whole winter because it's going to be a long winter guys. We're going to be stuck inside. Who cares if it's January, February? You can still make hot cocoa. You can still make a gingerbread latte, whatever you want. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. So please comment below if you liked any of these recipes and you got to try them. And I hope you guys have a really good Christmas and New Year's. See you next time.